Hello and welcome to another cooking demonstration with me. My name is Michelle Nash. I'm the dietitian at the Berkshire Medical Center Cancer Center. And today I want to share with you a picnic cooking demonstration. So what we are going to do today is we're going to make bruschetta, which is an Italian dish with grilled bread topped with summer vegetables in a bit of a salsa. Um, so what I have here is I have some French style, well it's actually an Italian style baguette, which I sliced um, on an angle to make these lovely pieces. And then they're just brushed with olive oil. The olive oil has a little bit of garlic and a little bit of salt in it. So this is a great dish to do outdoors. You can do it on your grill. You can do it on a grill pan um, in a fire pit out camping. And it's also great to do ahead of time and then have cold. So this is perfect for a picnic. So I've just got my bread on. That's gonna grill for just a couple minutes. And while that is grilling, we are going to make the topping for the bruschetta. So what I have here is I have some chopped cherry tomatoes. You can do a regular beefsteak tomato or whatever type of tomato your garden is overproducing or your neighbor's garden is overproducing. Um, so this recipe, again, it's very, very simple. Um, it's some chopped tomatoes. We're going to add some garlic some fresh basil, and some lemon juice, and a little bit of olive oil. So I've got my tomatoes. We're going to do a little bit of garlic. You can absolutely use fresh garlic if you want. I like to use the jarred garlic just because it's so easy. teaspoons of garlic to a cup and a half of tomatoes. We're going to do a little bit of pepper and a little bit of salt. And this is really just to taste. You can do as much or as little as you'd like. This is about two teaspoons of olive oil as well. I'm going to do a splash of lemon juice. You can absolutely use a fresh lemon if you'd like, but this is very convenient to get lemon juice in a jar. It makes life a lot easy and then you always have some on hand. And then a pinch of basil. So I chopped this basil up. There's a, a pretty fine chop, but it's not anything to be too concerned about. You can have big pieces, you can have little pieces. Really, you want that kind of rustic look. That's a real nice look for this dish. So when you have that mixed up, you take one of your grilled crostinis and you top it with your bruschetta mixture. And that's the traditional Italian bruschetta. So we're gonna put that one here. And what you can also do, there's no there are no rules here with what you can top your crostinis with. So I want to go through some other really delicious toppings with you. So with tomatoes as a base still, um, you can add cannellini beans, so a white bean, and that will increase the protein, which will be really nice. So here I'm going to do the remainder of the tomatoes. This is just plain can of rinsed cannellini beans. 
gonna put those in there. And then again, your garlic, little olive oil, little basil, salt and pepper, and mix it through. So if you were out at a picnic, what you could do is you could bring these toppings separately and then have your grilled bread separate. And then people can do a mix and match sort of what they feel like eating. And it makes it really interactive and fun. Um, it's a great way to uh, have super fresh food that's not boxed up and it makes it very festive. So again, very similar. It's basically the same thing as the first dish, but this one has the white beans in it. And then you just top your bread with it. So that's our second one with the white beans. Now that I've made some room, they can go back here. Just gonna put this for to the side for a minute. So these have been grilling for a couple minutes and we're just gonna flip them over. They're starting to get a little bit brown on the edges. Depending on how the bread is curved, you might not get those grill marks on all sides, but you do want to toast the bread down. Just a quick mention, I got day old bread, so it was 50% off and I like it that way. So I want it actually a little bit stale because you want to make it nice and crisp so that it can handle having these nice juicy toppings on top. So that's really nice to do and just a tip and then it's also 50% off so you can't really complain about that. So for our next slice of bruschetta, I want to do a tapenade. So here I've already chopped up some Kalamata olives. These are those dark purpley olives with that strong flavor. And this, we're just gonna use a little bit of it on our bread. I have here some Italian seasoning. We're going to add, we're gonna add a little lemon juice, a little garlic. And the olives are salty enough, so they don't need any additional salt. So I'm just gonna mix this through. This is a very simple tapenade. Tapenades can range from as simple as this to blending them up with nuts or fresh herbs or um, anchovies. You know, there's it's just a variation on a, on a simple recipe. So for this one, we're gonna do a tiny amount of the tapenade. just as a layer. So this again, this is gonna be a really salty layer because of the olives. And then I want to add some mozzarella. So I have a mozzarella ball here. This is found in just a regular grocery store in the cheese aisle. Um, you don't need to go to a special store to do it. It's very traditional to put mozzarella on top of crostinis like this. So I'm just going to slice off a nice slice, maybe a slice and a bit. And we're going to top our tapenade crostini with some mozzarella. Now something else that you can do with the mozzarella, which is also very traditional, is you get a nice slice and then you actually top it with the tomato mixture that we made first. So this again, you know, very traditional and you get that lovely contrast with the basil, the tomato, the mozzarella, that's your traditional like caprese salad, but then you just get it on a piece of yummy toast. So that's also very fun. So for our next piece of toast, what we're going to do is we're going to make a simple um, it's 
gonna be a simple avocado toast, sort of, with a little bit of a surprise. So we've got a nice avocado here. To check to see if your avocado is a good one, you want to pop the stem off and you want it to be bright green and then have a little bit of give when you give it a little squeeze. And then you get a gorgeous avocado. So just a simple avocado toast style. Now with this avocado, I could, I could top this with anything. So I could top it with the white bean and tomato mixture, the traditional tomatoes with some tapenade, but I'm not gonna do that. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna top it with a quick pickle. So don't be afraid. I just pulled out some quick pickles, but stay tuned. I'm gonna take you through how to make them. So what I have here is I made some quick pickle with some tomatillos. Those are those green tomatoes in the husk, but you can use regular green tomatoes and the pickling mixture. And I added a few, actually just one, habanero to give it a little bit of a kick. So here we have the quick pickle on top of our nice avocado. And this is a great thing to bring on a picnic because they're so yummy and refreshing. It really uses that fresh vegetable. You get that sourness contrasting with the bland bread and the nice unctuousness of the avocado and the olive oil. And it really brings out those flavors. So really here, there are just so many options of how to take very simple ingredients, overabundance in the garden and make some really delicious dishes. So, as I said, stay tuned for the quick pickling recipe. And if you have any questions, you can always, this one? So yes, we're gonna learn how to make this in our next video. Um, you can always reach out to me with questions, you can comment and the recipe will accompany this. So thank you so much for joining me.